In Muskegon County, a proposed firearms ordinance in Fruitland Township has many people angry because it would restrict their ability to shoot on their own property. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills has more on the meeting that's happening right now at the Township Hall, John. Juliet, the township's board meeting was actually moved outdoors because so many people showed up to speak against the proposed three page firearms ordinance. Fruitland Township residents say they only found out about the proposed firearms ordinance on Thursday last week. As written, it would restrict the shooting of firearms to properties that are 10 acres or larger and only properties zoned agricultural or rural residential. The ordinance would prohibit Paul Van Tongren from using his shooting range. It's on 20 acres, but wouldn't comply to the zoning requirement. Being able to go out back and shoot a little bit on your own private property means the world to, to us and the family, our kids even, uh, competitively shoot with 4-H. Township Supervisor Marsha Jeske says the proposed firearms ordinance is still considered a draft, even though it was placed on the township's agenda and could be voted on. Supervisor Jeske says the board asked the township's attorney to draft the firearms ordinance following multiple noise complaints in the township from the firing of guns and at least one recent safety complaint. An incident that the um, county sheriff's office responded to where where a bullet came through a private homeowner's garage. I think they're trying to punish the entire township for the, the needs and wants of one person, maybe a couple people. Residents are not only concerned about the restrictions the ordinance would have on the shooting of firearms on private property in the township, but also what appears to them to be the board's rush to get the ordinance on the agenda for a vote without significant input from residents. Where's the transparency? What is the reason behind this? Let everybody be on the same playing field. It should be tabled and taken off and not brought back up again. Well, it may have been because the large crowd showed up, but the board immediately removed that firearms ordinance from its agenda here this morning, uh, this afternoon rather, right as the meeting started. The board has pledged not to put it back on any future agendas. Nick? All right, thank you very much.